another video. So today we're going to head out to the store because I did share with you a few videos ago that I got this beautiful piece of wall art and which led me to thinking, well, geez, Karen, you have not really changed up the family room since you decorated for the spring season. So I was thinking maybe adding some different pops of color, um, but also something to complement this beautiful wall art. So we're gonna head to the store this morning. I have a few things in mind that I'm thinking I wanna pick up and just a few faux florals that have the pop that I'm thinking that I want. Hence what I'm wearing today. A little orange, rusty orange. I don't know, whatever I end up finding. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of a vloggy style decorate with me and I'm really looking forward to it. It's not gonna be anything crazy. I just want some simple changes um, just to change things up a little bit, freshen it up, make it look a little more exciting. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and grab a cup of coffee and um, think about, I'm gonna make my list of what I wanna go, where I wanna go today. And then we're gonna go head on out, come back and do a little decorating. friends I am back from running my errands I had success I did find a few things that are gonna go perfectly I think with the wall art that I received that I cannot wait to share with all of you and uh, so let me just share a little bit of background here so this piece of wall art is from Vichy Vinci I'm probably saying it wrong and I, I, I'm gonna make sure I say it right I think it's Vinci and um, they reach out to me and um, wanted me to be able to pick a beautiful piece of wall art and that they make specifically for you and you get to see the process. Um, they send you a picture of it first to make sure you approve of it and everything. I mean, just a fantastic company, I think, that I shared before to work with. So what Mark and I did is we looked through everything and I chose a, we, we chose uh, this piece of wall art that was black. And reason being is I thought a beautiful piece of wall art in the place where we wanted to put it black would just be so beautiful and well i have to tell you oh my gosh you guys we are loving it so i am going to insert when we first got received the art and we opened it up and what we first visualized how we wanted to hang it and so you will see here i'm going to insert us first opening up the the package the the boxing what we did is we first visualized that we wanted this piece of art to be vertical. And um, so as you will see, I'm gonna insert footage of me upstairs on our kind of catwalk trying to help Mark, who's on a ladder, get it vertical. And once we did, and I came down and we looked at it and looked at it, so I sent it to my mom. And because I grew up with my mom always having, my parents had the most beautiful art. And my mom said, honey girl, did you ever think about maybe making it horizontal, you know, placing it horizontal? So what I did was I went onto Canva, took a picture of it, and then I was able to erase it and then take a picture of it horizontal, like into the picture side by side to see what I thought. And Mark and I loved it horizontal in the picture. So we had a friend come over to help us hang it. I want to insert that. And uh, so what Mike did is he assisted us to be able to hang it horizontal and we absolutely loved it but I felt like it was missing something on the side of it so I wanted some kind of beautiful pottery but just black um, to put on the shelf alongside this beautiful wall art so I found it and I just put it up there you just see me <laughs> standing on one of the chairs Mark would have been a nervous wreck watching me do this but I thought okay I'm gonna do it and nor did anyone was seeing me in a dress up there trying to put this up there um, so I'm going to show you everything. It looks so, so pretty, you guys. And then that is what really inspired me to continue with that kind of black theme with some pops of color for uh, my decor right now for the summer season. 
and I think it looks really pretty. So, but we got to put all this together and hopefully it will come out as pretty as I'm visualizing. So without further ado, let's check out this wall art. Okay, so we're up here on my catwalk and I thought it'd be fun to just talk about this beautiful painting while I was, you know, right here with it, even though it's down a little bit further here on my kind of a shelf that we have in the family room. So this painting is originally made to be um, vertical, though like I shared, I'm not gonna really, in thanks to my mom, thought the uh, horizontal just looked really pretty in this spot. And uh, so if it is a little dusty, you see dust, please don't judge. I was just putting up these decorative pieces over here and these lights that just came. Uh, so it will light up a little bit in the evening and Mark would not be happy with me if he knew that I was up here doing this without him. Um, but I just wanted to, um, I wanted to do this for the video and get it up there. So we will be dusting. Uh, but let me tell you a little bit about the art. Um, you get to pick which one you want. There's so many different kinds, friends. So many, oh my gosh, you just have to check out their website. And um, it takes about a week. Uh, for them to make it and again they'll send you a picture and about like three to seven business days uh, for them to ship it and you know it came just so wonderfully and uh, I did have to sign for it and they even came you saw the package with everything you need to hang it also with white gloves so I thought that was super cool uh, the white glove treatment <laughs> I also got to pick the frame and Mark and I chose black because we thought the black would just be perfect with this type of wall art. And um, so let me just show you, let me just close up here a little bit and show you a little bit more. Okay, so this is about the closest I can get. I have it on my tripod up here. Um, but all these art pieces, um, again, you can choose which ones you want. They have got such quite a selection, uh, but they do use the professional, like the oil acrylic paints high quality canvas and it's a linen canvas um and i mean gosh i just i'm going to show you from down below too but i just wanted to get a little bit more of a closer view of it they can also have the artist sign the back if you choose to so now what i did add off here to the side and they look they look so puny compared to this wall art and i just actually grabbed something just for the sake of having something here i did find something else that i absolutely love it's a little more pricier and I may end up getting it um, but down from below it doesn't look bad it looks nice I just liked having something off to the side uh, of the painting um, just to give it a little bit more than just uh, the, the, the painting up here I wanted something a little more decorative off to the side and I did choose these uh, black uh, kind of um, pottery vases and then we got this lighting that's down here. Again, please do not say anything about the dust. We will be getting that. Um, I've got one, uh, you see, one right, one right here and one on the other side that will light this up at night. And I will take a picture for all of you to see what it looks like, but it is just so beautiful. This is the black vase that I originally had up when we were um, practicing with the wall art and we had it vertical. And I got the other two that you see up there uh, that I just shared. Though again, I think I'm gonna add this other one. It's gonna be so much prettier. But I just wanted something for the sake of this video. And I know I'll use them other places in the house. So I thought this would be pretty to carry the black onto the mantle. And so I'm thinking I wanna have this up here. Um, but I wanted to add, obviously, you got to have a pop of color. And for some reason, I love the color black with a bright pop of orange. So I did pick up some faux florals, some orange and white ones, and I bought those the other day. And we're going to go ahead, I think we're going to put them in here. I'm not sure if I want them on this side or this side, so we'll see. We're going to play around with it. So these are the florals. I love, love, love this bright orange and with the white. So I sort of just gather them together. We're gonna just put them in the vase and see what we think. And I always bend them, especially if they're super long stems because I never know if I'm gonna put them in something else in the future. And sometimes I just don't want them to be cut too, too short. And then you're really limited on what kind of a vase you can use uh, down the road.
the other vase I picked up was this one and it's so funny because the one I have up there is also the exact same one. So I picked up two, two different times with the same thing and didn't even realize it. So I thought this one will look pretty maybe on this side uh, with maybe some white stems or something in it. So I did pick up some baby's breath and I grabbed some other flowers that I had, um, faux baby's breath, that I had um, downstairs in my big box of all kinds of florals. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna put some in here, uh, maybe on this side. I do like having my lamp over here. I just like the coziness of it. And of course, I love this gold candlestick. So I'm just adding again some books that have a little bit of black and orange in them just to bring out a little bit my color scheme here. And then. I love her. So I'm moving her. She was on the mantle to just right here. Very, very simple. Now, as far as my coffee table, I pulled out this beautiful gold tray that I love with the handles. And I put one of my absolute favorite, favorite floral oil diffusers. Look at how gorgeous this is. My house smells so good with it. I love how beautiful it is. And I just recently went and got a refill for it. I'll link it for you. So the scent can continue to smell so beautiful here in my family room. So I wanted this to be on the tray. Um, to bring a little bit of that black, I did find this vase at Home Goods, and I just plopped in here some, just a couple faux hydrangea, just for a white. When I do add a lot to my coffee table and make it too high, when we're laying down, a lot of times Mark's like, I really can't see the TV. There's, you know, the flowers are in the way. So I'm going to try to keep this a little bit lower so we can have a better vision of the TV. And then I like to add, even for the cozy effect, a candle, which I love the hotel collection. Candle. And of course, I love my Jonathan Atler match strike here, my striker. I love the look with some coffee table books. So what I did this time is before I had this one on top, but I think I'm gonna put this one on top, the Chanel, because it has the black and that will just uh, sort of bring all that in together. And I also like to use or add some of my favorite magazines, but in this instance, it's Heather Baxter's Bible Studies, but I absolutely love how beautiful she has these. I mean, the photos on them are so pretty that uh, this is another thing that I like to use as far as a coffee table book. And then just a simple decorative element like the magnifying glass, which does need clean because the girls were playing with this over the weekend. So I'm gonna have to give this a little bit of cleaning. This is something here in my home I cannot change out. And it is the photos of all of our seven, yes, seven precious, precious grandbabies six granddaughters and one grandson. 
So this is always gonna be my focal point when you walk in to our front door and go down the little hallway to our family room. But to carry on the theme with the black, I love, love, love this beautiful vase here uh, with the decorative floral accents here of the black and white. And all I did was just simply add these beautiful faux florals in the bright orange with a little bit of black around them. I just think they are so pretty. And they just blend right on into my family room and I just love, love how beautiful they look. Alrighty, so this is the view over here. It's very, very simple. Not overcrowded, not a bunch of crap. The less is more as far as I'm concerned. The black I love with the pops of color. And what I like so much, especially about this piece of art, any holiday that you decorate with, I mean, black to me is like a palette that you can add so much, it looks so pretty. So I am so excited about it. So I wanna thank Vinci and friends. I'll list all the information in the description box. But also, they are kind enough to give you all 35, 35% off your order. So, you guys, I'm telling you, check them out. And if you do end up one of these pieces, uh, please share your pictures with me. Okay, now we're in our dinette area and ding dong me decided to open up our ice maker to make some iced tea. And I keep forgetting when you do that, it makes that humming noise now for like literally an hour. So. Hopefully you can ignore that humming noise behind me or on the side of me. Okay, so if you remember maybe in my dinette area, I have more of the um, kind of um, a light peachy tone um, here as far as faux flowers and um, any kind of decor. So what I ended up doing is again, I wanted to keep it very, very simple. I feel like in the summer when you decorate, um, just like you have less layers on, <laughs> I feel like I want less on my furniture as far as decorations not a bunch of stuff so because i chose a really bright kind of orange in my family room i wanted to go more of a muted like um kind of orangey apricotish color um more on the orangeyish side but well, i guess it's more apricot but also behind me i've got some fresh lilies and i can't wait till my garden gets big enough where i can just cut my own lilies um, but I bought these last week and look how pretty they still look. So I really wanted to keep this just very simple back here. And the same with my table, I'll show you uh, how simple it is. But rattan is so big, so big when it comes to not only um, the purses and shoes like I've shown you before, um, but also in decor. So I've got a rattan kind of a, a candle holder and also I've got a little uh, basket kind of tray um, here on my table. And then I got a faux rattan base uh, that I have a candle in it. And I just love that look. To me, it's just so summery and light and airy. So I'll show you all that. And just again, I kept it so basic and simple here in my dinette area. But I wanted to show you guys, I'm sort of going to insert this because of the high heat that we had here last week. We lost electricity a couple of times and twice it was in the evening and it was so hot. And then of course, there's nothing you can't see, it's dark, right? So this little touch, look at this thing. Okay, I'm gonna make a brighter. Table, kind of a lamp. It's battery operated. Well, actually not battery, you can charge it. And this saved Mark and I for those two nights because I was able to take it. I felt like I was on Little House in the Prairie, <laughs> walking from room to room, you know, like washing my face and, you know, straightening things up before we go to bed. And I was able to put it in our room and you can hit it to make it dimmer off or hit it to make it brighter. And this is what I normally put out on our patio at night when Mark and I are watching TV and I'm doing a little reading and I like to have it. It's just so perfect ball. This was perfect to have in the house for those days. So I'm telling you guys, this was the best, 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 best um, backup kind of a lamp, table lamp that I'm telling you every household has to have it, especially if you have to worry about electricity going out or just to have that 
cozy little quiet ambience or take it outside um, on your patio or whatever. I love it. So I had to tell you, this was a lifesaver. If you watch me on Instagram, you'll see that I'm like, thank goodness for this. Okay, so let me show you here what I did uh, very simply here in the dinette area. Okay, so as I shared, this is a faux uh, base of a candle holder, or you can just use it to put anything in it. I just happened to put some glass in a faux candle. And in this white uh, Voss vase, I put these beautiful faux flowers. These are real lilies. These are so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And then over here is a um, rattan candle holder with a faux candle now for my table again very very simple uh, a rotan tray here uh, just with this vase and I again with the kind of peachy tones here of the faux tulips and just some candles again to bring that kind of color and we turn them around color that I wanted to keep them within sort of the same family and then my flameless candles which I need some new batteries in these but very very simple and then over here on this little buffet, um, I just got like a warmer. You guys remember this. This is something I used last Christmas. I love this. I just think it's the coolest thing how I got these little kind of string lights. And they have all the different kind of like they either go steady or blank. I use this at Christmas and I loved it so much I've kept it all year round. And just put a flameless candle in it. And here are some faux florals just again light and airy. Um, but I think this is something you're going to see. I'm going to have to come up with something a little more um, creative or change it up a little bit for like the fall and Christmas seasons. But it's so pretty that I just had to keep it. And of course, I love this one of our subscribers I've had for years. And I absolutely love it. And of course, you guys know I love, love the coziness of a lamp. So that's, whoops, I got to move this around. There we go. So that is just how simple this is. Very, very pretty and simple so that is basically it as far as the, the kind of decorating that i did the refresh for my family room my dinette area the kitchen basically stays the same it's just uh fresh flowers and my little cute little plates and stuff that you guys have seen so many times before and when i do change that out i will be sure to share it with you and maybe in my next video i'll decide to change something out there a little bit more um, but other than that i just like how simple everything is uh, I just think it looks perfect. I, I really, really am very happy with it. And it just takes little simple things, simple things to just change things up. And sometimes if it's just a neutral color, it could be just a pop of uh, a floral or um, a pillow cover, a blanket, a throw, uh, candles, nature. You can bring in some fresh florals, uh, greenery. I love to add greenery. Uh, also, which I probably could, well, I do have some greenery in here for sure. And I do have some fresh um, plants. I mean, real plants in here too. Uh, so just those little simple things, those little tweaks, all you need to do is just add a little bit more um, to make your home feel fresh and give it that kind of a little bit of a new look. So each time you walk in the room, you're like, oh, this looks really nice, you know? It's fun to change things out. It's funny because, and if you are one of those people, you have to let me know, that sort of had the same decorations for the last um, 10 years. But I'm going to encourage you, and I wanna challenge you to just take one, even if it's a table, something, I know it can be overwhelming, but take just one thing and change it. And maybe take something that's in your, dining room area and put it in your family room vice versa pull some beautiful things that are in your bedroom that no one ever gets to see that you really love and bring them out and show them off in your family room i'm really going to challenge you all to do that i just love to move pieces from room to room sometimes just to give them a new home a new vibe a new look for that room and um show them a little bit of love so that's going to be my challenge to you all is just uh well, send me pictures. I would love if you would just email me and say, Karen, this piece was in my bedroom or bathroom or wherever, and I pulled it out and I gave it a new home in my family room or my kitchen or my dinette. Send me pictures. Let me know. But I do want to know in the comment section, are you one of those people that sort of is um, sort of stuck with um, just keeping the same thing in the same place over and over year after year? Because I'm telling you, it's just the best way of changing uh, just the way you feel when you walk into your home. And especially when people come to visit. 
I want them to always have something else and something different to look at. Because if you go visit someone that has the same everything, and you all, I feel like every time you go there, year after year, month after month, day after day, whatever, and you're staring at the same thing all the time. And I'm not saying, hey, listen, you do you, but I think it's fun to change it up a little bit. And you get so used to your own home that you don't even realize it. But I can guarantee you, if you move something from another room to another area of your house where you sit or spend a lot of time, you will really just, uh, I don't know, we'll put a smile on your face and make you just realize that, you know, some pieces just deserve a little bit more attention. So why not give it to them? Alrighty, friends. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. But if you hung around this long, let's see, what is this word going to be? Hmm. How about the word art? The word art, and then maybe, um, I don't know, an emoji with maybe paint strokes or paint brushes or something. Anyway, whatever you see right here, something similar. If you wanna put, go ahead, put in the comment section. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a while since I've done a little bit of a refresh. And um, anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget the 35% off code that I that they are so kind to give you. Um, they have so many beautiful pieces, you guys. So many different sizes. I know for sure I'm going to be adding uh, another piece or two to our house because there were so many on my list. It was really hard to just pinpoint one. Um, but anyway, love you all. Don't forget if you've not signed up for my newsletter, you got to do that because I do share some extra things on there that I don't always share here on my YouTube channel and my boutique. I am promising you I'm going to keep adding some new things to the Seasonal Blooms Boutique. Uh, I've got more coming in. So it's going to be a slow, slow here, but um, it's just, uh, again, getting knowing, getting to know what you all love and you all seem to be really excited about the things you've received so far. So yay, I'm so happy about that. So love you all and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.